Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Welcome to EM Live Morning Weather Update, jam packed today. It's brought to you by Lush Lawn. Thanks for joining me. Hit the share button if you could. I would appreciate it very much. It helps out quite a bit in spreading the word about how we cover weather here on M Live. So let's uh, get into it. You saw my tease there, a whole lot of weather to talk about. We have a great, gorgeous day today. We have warmer temperatures on the way. We have a severe weather system off to the west that will be heading toward Michigan. I'll give you a, a good update on that. And yes, we still, although way out in the distance and hopefully we can get some changes, we still have to talk about the possibility of some snow still. All right, let's get into the severe weather here at first, most important. This is today. So any severe weather for Michigan would be tomorrow. It would actually be tomorrow evening and tomorrow overnight, it looks like. And it looks like it's timed overnight, late evening overnight, which is a better time to get severe weather because it limits our chances somewhat. Hey, first off, some good mornings. Good morning, Mary. M Megan and Tucker, good morning. And Becky Hilliker, good morning. DeFord, Ed Fryshock, hopefully I got that one right. Uh, Jennifer's watching the grandbabies today, going to play outside. Yes. And good morning, Mark Ashworth. Uh, Ronald Johnson checking in from Albuquerque, New Mexico. All right, and we will start to look toward Easter. Let's get through the severe weather potential first. This is today. Uh, the severe weather is expected to be off to our west. Uh, this is the forecast from the Storm Prediction Center. And anytime you see these black hatched areas in their forecast, that signifies a greater chance of a stronger type of severe weather. So they're forecasting tornadoes, stronger tornadoes in Iowa for today. Now we'll jump ahead to uh, 8 a.m., tomorrow to 8 a.m. on Thursday, and that's when you see Michigan get into the slight chance of severe weather from about Ludington to Ann Arbor, south and west. That, I think, is better looked at as a level two risk on a five-level uh, scale. We go to the tornado threat for tomorrow, and remember, we're talking tomorrow evening or so, uh, and it's a 2% chance from Traverse City to Bay City to Detroit, south and west, and a 5% chance southwest corner. And then a 10% chance is still to our south, southern halves of Illinois, Indiana, and that's where the F2 tornadoes or stronger are expected. So we are still fortunately on the northern edge, the fringe, but it is a possibility that we will keep an eye on for you. Uh, radar shows nothing in our region, and the better way to look at a great day coming up is by looking at the satellite picture. And uh, you can see we have nice sunshine here in Michigan right now. The storm off to the west, uh, but just coming together. So we won't worry about that for today. A great looking day for today. All right, let's look at the radar forecast and give you a timing on when we could get into the storms and uh, when you can enjoy some nice weather. So we're starting off on the radar forecast here at uh, 9 o'clock this morning. And we go through the day today, and I guess the story for today is there's 4 o'clock, 5, 6 o'clock, southern lower, all dry today, no problems whatsoever there. Um, northern lower, you could start to get into some showers, it looks like, in the evening to five, six, seven o'clock. That's the warm front swinging through. We get fully into the warm sector, it looks like, overnight tonight and tomorrow morning. This is overnight tonight, so some thunderstorms possible across the northern part of the state. Traverse City to Gaylord to Alpena, uh, Mackinac City. Now let's go to tomorrow morning. And there might be a few showers around in the morning, but we're in the warm sector. We're going to feel tomorrow's the kind of day when you walk outside initially in the morning to head off to work or school and you go, wow, smells like spring. That's what tomorrow will start the day like. And so then we continue noontime tomorrow. 
Uh, still nothing major, maybe some scattered thunder showers developing. And if we did get thunder showers in the early afternoon, that's actually a lessening the chance of severe weather uh, because it stabilizes the atmosphere. So we're at six o'clock, seven, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, and there you can see the cold front. You can see it easily from uh, Lansing, Jackson, south into Indiana. So at some point, let's call it after six o'clock, the southwest corner could get in on severe weather. And then as we go toward 11 o'clock, the storm's uh, starting to move into the southeast part of the state. And it's hard to say how far the northward extent will go. At some point, the northward side will be too cool and too stable. So we may escape that in Saginaw Bay City. Uh, probably still thunderstorms and the possibility of hail. I think if we I think if we escape tornadoes out of this one, which it is possible that we could escape tornadoes because we're only a two to five percent chance. And that does sound low, but that's five percent is is fairly significant for a chance of a tornado in Michigan. But one thing is the atmosphere is structured for large hail. So tomorrow, before you go to bed anywhere in Michigan, you're going to want to put the nice car in the garage. If you have one of those Teslas, you're going to want to put that definitely in the garage. Uh, so here we are, uh, middle of the night, Wednesday night, Thursday, and then we're at Thursday morning, and everything is swept on by, and we're into a cooler flow. Hey, good morning, Karen Jacobs from Bay City and Clayton Lapola. Thanks for watching. If you could hit the share button, I'd appreciate it greatly. Here's a little bit, uh, maybe more user-friendly extended look at the forecast. And then, because we have to talk about, oh, well, you know, I mentioned it, the S word. Uh, so here's Wednesday evening and Wednesday night and Thursday morning very early. So there's the cold front coming through. Then the air changes. We do cool down, not too severe cold, but we do cool down. I'll show you the temperatures in just a moment. And there we're at Saturday morning and yeah, that's snow showers flying in Northern Michigan. That means all of us are on the chilly side. And then we're at watching something next week that's shown up now for about three or four days and creeping toward us. Now it's what, about a week away and look at what the European does. Still pretty far out for this time of the year to forecast something extremely bizarre, but that's Monday night, Tuesday morning. And guess what, my friends? That's accumulating snow verge of snowstorm or maybe by April, you would call it snowstorm status. So we're gonna keep an eye on that one. Leave you with one more thing, temperatures. They should be very nice today. Today is the pick day of the week because it's sunny, it's dry, and it's in the 60s. Tomorrow is warmer, more humid, but we get the clouds and the showers uh, coming in there. Hey, good morning, Mark Hartjerink. Hopefully I got that one right. This is Wednesday. This is Thursday. A little cooler on Thursday. This is Friday. Still maybe 60 in Detroit and Ann Arbor. And then tapering to the 50s and then tapering to the 40s. And UP is still in winter. This is Saturday. Yeah, the cool air is starting to continue to ooze in. Highs in the 40s. This is Sunday. Highs in the 40s. And then this is Monday and Tuesday when that storm system could be moving through. And if we do get snow, uh, yes, today is good for putting grass seed and fertilizer down. Even though we're talking about uh, a period of colder weather, the wet weather gets the seeds to moisten up and start to swell up and pre-germination, we call it. And then once the warmth comes back, they germinate. So great call on the uh, seed and fertilizer for today. And then this is Wednesday and Thursday. So I guess what you can see is we are still in a very volatile weather pattern, which you'd expect in April, and we are in a very active storm track. My next post coming up on MLive is going to show you exactly why, visually, you'll see exactly why we're in such a stormy pattern right now across the middle part of the U.S., including Michigan. There you have it. Enjoy today. We'll watch tomorrow late for severe weather and storms. Uh, by late, I mean six o'clock southwest corner, midnight 
uh, Saginaw, Bay City, Thumb, Detroit, Ann Arbor. Um, that's tomorrow. And then it's back to some cooler weather. So get out and enjoy it. And we'll keep you updated right here on MLive. Thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Lush Lawn. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Keep it tuned to MLive. Bye.